okay in the last video we covered the installation part and of the tensorflow using anaconda and pycharm and we wrote a sample hello code this program in this video we are going to cover some basic steps to before we write any neural network or machine learning algorithm so to start it we have already seen that we need a session to evaluate any value of the tensorflow and we can create any variable or constants using this tf command in this video we will start with placeholders what are placeholders and how we can use it or how it is different than variables so let's start placeholder in tensorflow is like the input port of a neural network when we are say uh, when we are training the network the network is only training the variables means the hidden uh, nodes it is not changing the placeholders because we are providing the value to the placeholders like input and output this should be constant and everything in between has to, has to adjust and everything in between the variables has to adjust to match this relation the input and output let's create a placeholder make it uh, x equals pf dot placeholder we have to specify the data type of this placeholder let's make it float and the shape uh, if we give the default value of the shape is none if we give none it will take any types of values um, so we are going to make it like that and we are going to name this placeholder okay we are going to name it like input why we are naming it we will see that in our tensorboard tutorial because when we are creating a network we are actually creating a network means uh, these are the placeholder these are the hidden variables and these are this is another placeholder the output so when we are creating a network uh, we can actually visualize the network and uh, see how the network is structured using tensorboard so if we don't name them we won't be able to understand which one is what so we are providing a name here so this will this variable will have a string value uh, this parameter will have a string value which will be placed here instead of any variable name that we uh, provided object name that we provided so that's clear here now we are going to create some variables like tf like uh, let's say z equals or x equals tf dot variable dot variable and same goes for variables also um, initial the data type d d type equals float and that's it for now and let's create another input first this should be equals okay uh, this make it make it input one make it input two here also let's make name them input one input two but I, by the way you don't have to name it same I mean the name and the variable and the object name doesn't have to be same we can make it a uh, input one input two or uh, the only thing we have to remember is there shouldn't be any spaces in the name like if we want to do it like this it won't work because uh, tensorboard, tensorboard won't take it um, and we have to make it underscore or whatever you like this so it will be like this and when it float we created another variable let's create another output uh, output equals tf dot variable is uh, d type equals also float oops hello at okay i have this habit of putting semicolons at the end 
now we have two variables two placeholders now what we are doing is we are creating a a flow whatever we are doing right after this is not uh, so those operations are not getting is not happening right now we are just telling the program that we are going to do this how how the things are related how uh, we are evaluating we are getting one uh, value of one node from other nodes uh, but uh, tensorflow is not doing it right away it will do the same things what we instructed it when we call uh, the session and inside the session when we run that uh, particular node it will do whatever the operation it we instructed it to do to get its value it will do that after inside the session so we will do that let's tell the tensorflow how to get the value of the x so x will be evaluated from input 1 let's make it into input 2 so whenever I want to get the value of x it will in multiply input 1 and input 2 whatever the value of the input 1 and input 2 at that moment not right now so it is not doing it right now whatever the value we we the input 1 input 2 have right now doesn't matter because it's not doing it right now so when we will uh, run this uh, x it will evaluate these two okay now we want to make a relation between output and x so output is related to x by x multiplied with x let's say so uh, the output is related to x multiplied with by x so whenever we want to get the value of output it will first get the value of x to get the value of x it will then get the value of input 1 and input 2 multiply it it will get the value of x it's kind of it's almost like a function calling so we have declared the relations between nodes by the way we are I'm calling all these nodes because it's a placeholder this is a variable and these are all kind of nodes in uh, the network now let's get the value of the output so create a session tf says equals tf dot it will be capital S session and inside the session we are going to run the value of output so says dot run we want the value of the output node and to get to get the value of the output node we need the value of x to get the value of x we need the value of input 1 and input 2 the input 2 and input 1 and uh, is not a variable it's a placeholder so we the we have to place some values in the placeholder to do that we have this uh, other parameter called feed dict so in the feed dict what we will do we will feed a dictionary uh, where we will select these one by one what all the placeholder that are that is related to means chained with this uh, variable that we are calculating should be placed here so this one and we will place a value here let's make it uh, 3 and another input 2 we will place another value here let's make it 4 and now it has input and put one input to both let's run this okay so one thing is when uh, whenever we are declaring a variable explicitly we have to specify its initial value let's say let's make it one or let's make it zero let's make it zero so the variable x is initialized with the value zero and output is also initialized with the variable zero now this error should be gone 
con okay so the value we got that is 144 mm. here you can see that the input value we provided 1 is 1 3 and this is 4 so 3 into 4 it is 12 so 12 into 12 is 144 so that's perfect and here we covered almost placeholder and variables another thing we should know that is the shape of a variable so let's say when we are putting single number it's like uh, telling one value of a one node but what usually we want to do is we don't uh, create three placeholder for one input layer we create one placeholder which will hold all the values of this input layer so that will be an array we don't have to specifically tell it's an array but we can directly give the shape so the shape is first index of the shape will be the batch size means how many input we want to uh, supply at once means uh, sometimes we want we don't want to train one single value a single uh, training at a time we want multiple training in batch so we want to make it uh, let's if we give none so it will take any number of uh, batch size we want to give it and second index will be how many rows we have in our um, array so we are in this let's say in this case we have three rows only and one column so it will be three and that's it because one column is if we want to make it a one dimensional then three is enough but if you want to make it a two dimensional uh, input then we can put a comma three uh, sorry one and that's it uh, so for this tutorial we are, I'm just putting it as one because uh, in this case we have only three neurons in three rows and no columns so that's fine now let's give the shape of this to here also so now we have this two matrix so when now we are ma multiplying the first matrix with second matrix and this when you are using using this star it will be dot multiplication means the both matrix has to be on same size then only we can multiply it uh, and if we want to uh, use a matrix multiplication then we have to use tf dot mat matmul but we will talk about it later so right now i'm multiplying this two and putting in the x and multiplying x and x and putting in the output so another thing is now we cannot supply 3 and 4 here because we specified the shape should be 3 at least 3 uh, here not at least exact 3 and both of them has to be 3 column and they has to have some uh, batch dimension means another dimension where we will provide the batch so it will be for the first dimension this one we put 1 comma 2 comma 3 and here we just put it in another array or another curly braces so it will become the two dimensional here also uh, inside this we'll put 3 4 4 3 2 comma comma and let's run this so we have this 1 into 4, 1 into 4, 2 into 3 equal to 6, and 3 into 2 equal to 6. So 4, 6, 6. And now for the output, we have to square them. So 4 square is 16, 6 square is 36, and 36. So voila, we have it. Uh, I think I covered the placeholder and variables in this. In the next video, we will see what are operations and what are scopes.
so till then see you in the next video